Now, come time for sectionals. Our first round, we had Roosevelt beat them 48-0. Now we got a big game because Valparaiso. Um, give us your your goals in that game and the, the, the outcome of that game. The goal of the game was to win. I don't care about what manager of who we're supposed to tackle, who we're supposed to stab out on the field, if that's what we had to do. <laughs> but at the same time, that's what, what the outcome was. Uh, it's a lot of things that happened in that game. It was small things. We didn't lose by them crushing us. You know, they had a tailback that was ranked number one in the state. And at the same time, he came up against us and had under 50 yards rushing. I mean, that's a compliment to our defense, to our defensive line, you know, to the, uh, to the school itself. Because when you get a, a, a hype that comes up there like that and we stop them, they have to go to different aspects of their game, and at the same time, some of that we weren't ready for. Uh, they, can, they took back a pump return. I mean, that's something that does happen in the game, but it didn't happen against us often. Uh, it didn't happen at all against us. I mean, our, our, our last two years, we never had a pump return. Oh, kickoff. Um, it was just it was a breakdown in probably one, two assignments, and that's what it was. And that was the turning point of the whole game because their fans were leaving going home in the third quarter. Um, our fans were leaving going home because it was cold outside. They were going to say, well, we'll just listen to the rest of the game in the radio. And the next day, they asked me what happened. And at the same time, I had to put my head down because at the same time, we, we just didn't close out the game. And that's what it came down to. Um, I recently, I interviewed Antoine Kennedy, and he stated that he felt like yourself, um, Mike McGee himself, could have stepped up and just went into the game because during that time our secondary was, was getting beat in a lot of plays. He felt like you as the leader, you know, as the vocal leader of that team, you should have just won the game. What you feel about that? I feel that is true, but at the same time, and I blame this on me because I wasn't physically ready. I was playing defense at the time, and they had not scored deep against us until I came out. But at the same time, I was cramping up. That's poor conditioning on my part, and I don't blame the team for that because I was probably, you know, I thought I was conditioned, but I could have always been better. I could have pushed myself to been better. But at the same time, none of a, no other person said anything because, you know, the people we had out there, we still had confidence in. And then when all it was all said and done, we should have, could have, would have, but we didn't at the time. We could have took people out, and we could have changed personnel, but at the same time, we would have been teaching on the fly, but that also goes with having more uh, coaches in depth because we could have had certain people learn those skill positions been like okay if he gets hurt who's the other step in his place we really didn't have scenarios like that and, and if you think about it we could have put an athlete in there he could have probably did a better job than what you know the current people were doing or he could have did an even worse job so we we can't we can say we should have put some more people in there but at the same time, we still don't know what the outcome would have been.